new Talbot Lab expansion uh, will give us a lot more room than we currently have in our two closet lab here. Uh, we'll be able to put our equipment in for testing out our solar arrays, for doing vibration testing of satellites where we shake them, much like they'll see on the trip to orbit. Uh, we'll be able to verify all of the systems and work with the ground stations as well. Uh, having this extra room gives us the ability to also set up a ground operations control center um, named for Steve Nagel, one of our alumni astronauts. The control center will have multiple consoles, large screens, displays, and allow us to work directly with the satellites, allowing the students to serve as the operators and control the satellites directly. It's really important for aerospace engineers to know what a composite material is, how to make complex parts out of, out of composites. So, uh, so that's one of the primary objective of this new facility. Uh, but at the same time, you know, anyone who needs to make composite parts for some design project or for research will obviously come there too. So it's gonna, it's gonna have a dual purpose. Uh, but the objective is to make sure that none of our students can graduate without really knowing what a composite material is and how, what are the key techniques that uh, people use to make complex composite parts.